Greetings, my friends, and welcome to the Paula Gordon Show, conversations with people at the leading edge. I'm Paula. Alan Alda is one of the most respected and beloved actors working today. Like a lot of people who have accomplished things, I have wasted a lot of time in my life. And if I only wasted time, I think it would be a waste of time. But I waste time, and that's I'm, I'm beginning to regard that now as fallow periods where things are the soil is rejuvenating. Um, I think uh, yeah, sometimes I go blank. You know, when I thought to myself, it's very important to be concerned with every moment as it's happening. Well, it turns out that's not really possible. And, and, I, and I realized one day while I was cooking my oatmeal for three minutes <laughs> that I had gone blank for those three minutes because I, I had the, the microwave on for three, it was timed for three minutes. So I knew how long I had gone blank from the time I put it into the time I took Not it. Not available. I couldn't account for that time. I was out to lunch. So I decided, first of all, I got nervous. Oh my God, have I, am I going to miss my life now? This was three minutes of my life. Burn oh, the oatmeal. Yeah, and it's gone. All I got to show for it is the oatmeal. So I, I, I decided that I would call it something else, a vacation. Because a vacation is time you waste, only you put a name on it. But it does refresh you, you know, you get, so I don't know if you ever really do waste time, unless you waste all your time. I, I don't know if I would want to waste all my time. But I find some of the time that I've wasted in my life, like the time as a kid, I would just lie on my back and look up at the sky and see the clouds go by and I'd look for faces in the clouds. But I would spend hours doing that. Um, I think that was some of the foundation now for uh, for what I uh, for my imagination you know I mean I have, a, I have a very good useful imagination stands me in good stead born into a vaudeville family Alan Alda has been around actors and acting all of his life but Mr. Alda is best known for his roles in movies on television and on stage he is also a director screenwriter and author his memoirs, Never Have Your Dog Stuffed, and Things I Overheard While Talking to Myself, are like many of his characters, strangely attracting. Bill Russell and I were exceptionally pleased to meet the man behind the characters. Alan Alda, I took great pleasure some years back when uh, a friend of mine told a story about a youngster coming to mom saying, Mom, did you know that Paul McCartney was in a band before Wings? <laughs> well, I was thinking about that. I Now it's going to have to fast forward to the kid goes to grandma and say, Mom, did you know that Alan Alda was in a show before West Wing and it was called Scientific American <laughs> Discoveries? And she says, Ah. <laughs> That's funny. There are kids like that who only know me from, uh, the, actually, a lot of kids only know me from the science show. Sure. And But uh, I'm always astounded at a, a book signing when 10-year-old kids come up who are currently watching MASH. Fabulous. And, you know, it's it's uh, really interesting. Well, not but, only but, is that good for your, your life path, <laughs> yeah. it's also good for those kids. Well, I, oh, I don't know. It, I, I it's, do. It's not, it's not like broccoli, you know. <laughs> Much better than broccoli. <laughs> yes. I well, like broccoli. I, I, I think that's a testament to the importance of good work. Uh, MASH uh, was a, um, how to say, it was serious humor that dealt with the human condition and did it in very rich ways. It didn't, it was not dishonest. In fact, it well, seemed to want to be honest. I think one of the things honest. that was really good about it was that it didn't... Um, it, the show tried not to trivialize the real-life right. experiences of the people we were playing. And the, one of the best things for us was real people had lived those lives. Mm -hmm. So there was always a sense, uh, I think, that no matter how silly we got, that there were actual people who had suffered through that real experience. And you couldn't, uh, you, could, you had to be silly in, in ways that didn't ignore their lives. And most of the time, you, I think we did you, that. You talk in both your books about the importance of, of art in various manifestations, and it seems one of the things that's so vital about it is the opportunity to live other people's lives or see a little piece of who and what they are, to experience something outside of ourselves that, that simply is not available otherwise. Yeah, it, that is a nice thing about uh, the, the particular um, art that I'm in, is that you 
you kind of are required to <laughs> learn about somebody else. Yeah. And that, that sometimes does feel like broccoli. <laughs> you know, you know, it's not the first thing most of us think of is how can I find out more about this other person and care about it. Well, I, I really like you. It's, it's really good for you if you do it. <laughs> I really liked you until I saw The Aviator. And I, I had to just recalibrate my whole opinion of Yeah, uh, well, I finally you. got to play myself in it. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to leave that art idea until quoting you saying that propaganda is the enemy of art and I don't know, oh well, I really perhaps do think art it is. perhaps art is the enemy of propaganda good for you that sounds good could be could be as long as it's not propagandistic art <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then, anyway you know it's it's very easy in art to to put an agenda forward of one kind or another i mean it, it is very tempting to I think for a lot of people, I never liked it. I don't, I, I, I really, and not just political propaganda, but um, just having a, a certain view of nature and insisting on, on that. It's, it's, it's much more fun if somebody seems open-minded about what they're doing. I, it's more fun to me to watch it and, and let the people behave the way people really do behave. You've been in a number of things that are political. Bill talks about the aviator when we come back in just a moment. Let's talk about all those political things you do, which certainly have no propagandistic, but certainly are art in, embedded in them. In just a moment, we'll be back with Alan Alda. <laughs> 